five of Kyle Larson and the 11 of Denny Hamlin have had entering these playoffs. And with the accident of the five of Larson, does that momentum shift to the 24 now? William Byron, is he the front runner as we get closer to the championship four in Phoenix? This checkered flag moment brought to you by Advanced Auto Parts. Milestone win is going to go to William Byron, but Junior, you were a part of those 300 wins. How big is this for the organization? They take a lot of pride in milestones like this, and they will celebrate this when everyone's back in Charlotte. Rick would not miss the opportunity to be here and see his car go to victory lane. Decades and decades of hard work put in every single one of those victories. Steve, I was I part of those, yes, yeah, Steve was part of those as well. I was part of them too, but on the other side of it. <laughs> hey, for somebody to win, somebody has to come in second. Marty. Win number six of the year for William Byron. And the most important win of the year, no doubt about it. The Texas fans stayed through the heat today and they get to celebrate William Byron. Advancing to the round of eight, that young man's trying to show him that he autographed his shirt earlier today. Win number 300 for Hendrick Motorsports. Welcome to the round of eight, William Byron. How did you steal that one on that final restart? Man, that's badass. I finally got a good restart at the end. Uh, just, uh, who is it's hot today. I, I think it's finally hitting me, but uh, number 300 for Hendrick Motorsports. Uh, Kyle really deserved this one. Gotta, gotta say, uh, those guys were really fast all day. And, Paid it for them at the end, but uh, man, it was awesome to get our car to the front. It loved clean air, so we just fought through traffic all day, and our Liberty University Chevy was just tight back in traffic, but had good pace. And um, this was one of those hot days. It felt like when I played football and going through two days, just wanted to quit. But uh, it was uh, it was a grinded out day, and and our team was was there at the end. I'm really proud of this one. Uh, as hot as it was, as tough as it was, so. Uh, we'll take it and go on to the next round. Rick Hendrick gave you a shot as a young driver. What does bringing him win number 300 mean for Hendrick Motorsports? I don't know if I can even put it into words. I was such a Hendrick Motorsports fan growing up as a kid watching Jimmy Johnson and uh, became really fond of Jeff Gordon as I got to know him and uh, just just thankful for all the all the people and men and women back at Hendrick Motorsports and Mr. Hendrick for his investment in me and telling me at 17 years old that he was going to take me to, to cup racing. So just appreciate everything he's done for me. And this is awesome. We're gonna, definitely going to enjoy this one. And now you and the 24 team are one step from a championship potential run. Now you don't have to worry about Talladega and the road. Well, how cool is that? Yeah, it's cool. I mean, we've just been kind of steady Eddie through the first uh, three, four races, and uh, we haven't shown any flashes. But uh, today, I thought we had a good car. Uh, if we could have just gotten to the front, and, and at the end there, we're really fast. By the way, I know it's hot in the car today, but how about these Texas fans who stood out here in 100-degree heat this afternoon? Yeah, they're uh, they're better than, than than I would be. So appreciate all you guys coming out. It was a, it was a really uh, good crowd for, for as hot as it was. So got some of the best fans in Texas. I love it here. So uh, look forward to coming back next year. Rick, you mentioned he didn't lead until that final restart. That doesn't matter. They've advanced now to the round of eight. William Byron in the 24 team. Bubba Wallace comes home in the third position after leading the most laps today, 111. That last restart didn't go your way. Walk me through what happened. Uh, third time I fooled myself starting on top. These guys gave me the right information. 14's tight, and he sent it off in there. Wasn't going to stick, but that's what he's got to do. We're racing for a win, and just hate it. I uh, should have just kept my line in the three and forced William to get tight, but you're so vulnerable in these cars, right? Um, but just uh, upset with self. Really needed a win there, and um, it's good showing. I don't know where that puts us. Don't really care, but you know, I I know what I did, and I choked. Best three start. Good. You're good. As you look to the next two races. Can you learn anything from this? Yeah, you just got to process things slower. I, I, I feel like I've made a massive improvements in that, processing things a little bit better. But when it comes down to crunch time, you have to um, you have to keep it all in check, you know? So the best restarter in the game gives it up on a restart. So funny how that works. So 
Appreciate everybody. McDonald's Toyota Camry was good out front. Struggled in traffic a little bit, but we grinded, come out with a good solid points today. So appreciate everybody's support and efforts. We'll go on to Talladega. Well, for 99 laps out front today, Kyle Larson was the show. Tell us about that hard racing with Bubba in turns one and two. Uh, yeah, he did a good job to stay with me um, on the restart uh, through three and four and, and all that. And I just was, I tried to open up. I was trying to, you have, have my shape into one. And um, with these cars compared to the old ones, you don't really get sucked around like that. So I wasn't really expecting it and um, thought that I would be fine. And uh, yeah, we just went in there side by side and I lost it uh, really quickly and crashed. So um, uh, pretty, pretty bummed, but uh, you happy for William. Um, happy for Mr. H, you know, 300 Cup Series wins is incredible. So, um, you know, great, uh, great night overall for an or our organization and um, congrats to William and congrats to my team too. I mean, we had a super fast car today and we've had a fast car at every, every playoff race so far to this start. So um, go to Talladega, try to have a good day and, and get some good fortune and then uh, have a good race throw. You, that throttle position sensor went bad, went dead. First of all, tell us what that was like in the car. It's terrible. You push the gas and it, it ain't got no gas, Kim. Um, yeah, I, I, it, I noticed something on a few cautions, like having the car off in third gear, clutch in, drop the clutch with the ignition on, and it kind of stumbled. But I thought I just had it too low of RPM. And then I pit, and that pit stop it is when it had already failed, and it, it wouldn't go. And I'm, I'm part throttle to get it fired, and it doesn't think I'm doing anything. So. Um, from there, they walked me through it, and it basically, I just had to give it a lot of throttle. So the next pit stop for our, our final two-tire stop was just a whole lot of throttle. I'm sure the eardrums are blown out of, of everybody behind our pit box, but for our Worldwide Express Chevy, um, we were not fast enough to run second with two tires. We were with four. I mean, early in the race, I, I thought we were one of the best cars, and I wish we could have raced with those guys. I just um, we worked our way back with taking four tires a lot and uh, some bad research on my side, but. We had the speed, and we showed it all weekend, and I, uh, we did everything we needed to do. And that, this race, if you follow the chart for running position, is everything that the one team is about, and I love it. So you feel confident headed to the next two races? I don't know about, I don't know about those. I only care about here, and I just want to run good at the track I'm at, Kim. So, um, you know, when we go to, to Talladega and the Roval, we'll just go try to perform like we did today. If it's not looking good, we just. What does the next lap take? What does the next breath take? And whenever we, yeah, man, I'm not pushing. Whenever we do the right things, those races uh, they they give out the same amount of points as this one, and we'll go and race them the same way. Well, a good race this team had. Second position here at Texas. Thanks, Rob. Ryan Blaney never led today, but he did spend. 21 laps in second place, which was a surprise to some because your day didn't seem like it started so well, and then it didn't end well. I mean, it was up and down all day. Yeah, up and down, definitely, and uh, ended with a down. So, um, proud of the group for getting a little better all day. Had good, good strategy. Took rights, kind of got track position, and then car was okay. We were just kind of hanging on, and but we got better, and uh, and then I sped, and um, really took us out of it. Took us out of having a good finish, and then. You put yourself back there and then you get in a wreck. So just, uh, yeah, a slight sliver of hope and proud work all day of like getting better and getting stage points and then just uh, driver mistake and puts us back in the stuff and get wrecked. So uh, not a very good job by me today, but proud of everyone on this Menards, Dutch Boy, Ford Mustang group. They, they did the best they could and uh, we're still not out of it. We go to Talladega, still uh, not too many points out. So hopefully we can run good there. Talladega, not a bad track for you. Yeah, pretty decent. You know, you just you just hope to, you know, compete and make it to the end and, you know, collect stage points when you can and just try to have a shot at the end. So hopefully we can do that. You never know really what can happen, but the best thing you can do is just try to go control the race and try to run up front and control the first couple lanes. And uh, we'll see if we can do that. Brad, I can maybe make Ryan Blaney feel a little bit better. He's one of the few drivers who's won at Talladega and the Roval, and he will go to Talladega next week, minus 11 below the cut line. But it's William Byron in victory lane here at Texas. He advances to the round of eight. And Christopher Bell only spent 11 laps in the top five today, but they were the laps that mattered, the laps at the end. You come home with a fourth place finish. What did you have to overcome here today? Well, I, we had to overcome a slow performance, that's for sure. We got away with one today it, it 
we didn't have the pace to run fourth for sure. And, uh, you know, the restarts worked out in our favor and we were able to sneak by on the bottom and, and get a good finish out of it. So, you know, this is one of those days where I'm going to be very, very happy on Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, but right now I'm pretty disappointed just because the performance wasn't there. So, um, you know, I, I got to figure out what, what I was missing in the car, why I couldn't, you know, produce the lap time that the other guys could. We saw another pit issue with the pit crew in an early stop. Should you be concerned at this point? I mean, I have enough of my own issues right now to, work, to, to be worried about them. So uh, if I focus on my job and I do my job better and they focus on their job and they do, do their job better, we're going to be just fine. Very frustrated Christopher Bell down here. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.